Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. We all miss rugby. Prince Harry showed off a healthy lockdown tan while appearing in an England rugby video from his home in Los Angeles. But it hasn't taken away our spirit. The Duke of Sussex is currently staying in Tyler Perry's $20 million mansion with Meghan Markle and Archie One, but admitted he was missing rugby after it was put on hold due to the coronavirus crisis. The video starred a number of sporting stars alongside Prince Harry, including former English rugby player Johnny Wilkinson and Australian rugby coach Eddie Jones. In the video, which was posted on England Rugby's Instagram page earlier this week, the stars thanked fans for their efforts to tackle coronavirus during the pandemic. Prince Harry starts the video confessing, We all miss rugby. Then, a fellow contributor adds, This pandemic might have paused the game before the Duke continues, but it hasn't taken away our spirit. The video appears to have been taken outside in a garden, with Prince Harry looking to be in high spirits after stepping back as a senior royal earlier this year. The caption on the England rugby page said, when the game was paused, the rugby family came together as one. Thank you from all of us. England rugby's pitch and campaign will look to honor those who have helped during lockdown and shown the true core values of the game. Royal fans were delighted to see Prince Harry in the clip. Another wrote, Brilliant video. I love that Prince Harry is in it too, while a third added, Awesome. Good to see Prince Harry too. Prince Harry has been the patron of the Rugby Football Union since 2016, after the Queen stepped back from the role. He continued in the role after stepping back as a senior royal, and has sung the rugby anthem numerous times since childhood. Another report. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have rolled up their sleeves to help a youth organization cook meals in Los Angeles. Meghan and Harry joined members of Homeboy Industries on Tuesday in a cooking session for the organization's Feed Hope program, which provides food to those in need in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. Pictures from the event showed the couple wearing aprons, face masks and hair nets as they made pastries and prepared food parcels with around two dozen members of the Homeboy team. It comes as it was revealed they have signed with a speaking agency, which represents the Obamas and Clintons. LA Times reported that the couple has signed with New York-based Harry Walker Agency for speaking engagements. As they carve out their new career since stepping back from royal duties, it is understood that they will be engaging in keynote speeches and moderated panel discussions with a focus on social issues such as racial justice. Homeboy is run by Father Greg Boyle, who previously worked with Meghan and her mother in a cooking workshop nearly 20 years ago, and a representative for the couple said Meghan remembers the tamale recipe she learned there to this day. Father Boyle, who has worked closely with Meghan's alma mater, Immaculate Heart High School in Los Angeles, said, The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were just Harry and Meghan to the homies. They rolled up their sleeves and deeply engaged with our workers in the bakery and cafe. It was immediate kinship and heartening in its mutuality. Harry and Meghan's spokesman said, the Duchess mentioned that the spirit and style reminded her of the times she visited the Luminary Bakery in London, a social enterprise that offers disadvantaged women in the UK new opportunities. The former actress, the first mixed-race person in modern history to marry a senior British royal, has been outspoken on racism in society. She delivered an impassioned Black Lives Matter speech to her old high school, in which she shared her absolute devastation at racial divisions and the death of George Floyd in the U.S. Mariana Enriquez, manager at Homegrown Cafe, said, it was remarkable to share our Feed Hope program with Harry and Meghan. They are both down to earth and pined. The staff was honored they took the time to see us, hear us and walk on our journey today. 
we will never forget. Another analysis. Meghan Markle was so upset before leaving the royal family. Here's why. From Meghan Markle, wedded bliss has been met by one royal nightmare after another. As Prince Harry's significant other, Meghan has become fodder for every tabloid known to man. And while she was warned that the press will destroy your life, the Duchess told ITV's Tom Bradby that even the British sensibility of a stiff upper lip wasn't enough to shield her from the pain inflicted by such harsh attacks. Meghan explained in Bradby's 2019 ITV documentary Harry and Meghan, An African Journey. She had been warned about her new life as a royal. My British friend said to me, I'm sure he's great, but you shouldn't do it because the British tabloids will destroy your life. Still, she admitted that the, quote, British sensibility of a stiff upper lip wasn't enough to shield her from the pain inflicted by such harsh attacks. I, I never thought that this would be easy, but I thought it would be fair. And that's the part that's really hard to reconcile. Although Queen Elizabeth attempted to bring Meghan into the fold shortly after she married Prince Harry, she and Meghan embarked upon their first solo trip together less than one month after the wedding. Such gestures weren't enough to counter the barrage of negativity that defined Meghan's life across the pond. Meghan constantly found herself the subject of dissection in the press, whether rumors about her family life or members of her own family speaking out against her. People criticized her throughout her pregnancy and for a range of other reasons. Two upcoming books promise to shed more light on what was really going on behind the scenes. May new biography deems Meghan Markle the most misrepresented woman in the world. In a new biography inspired by Meghan Markle's emotional ITV interview, celebrity biographer Sean Smith hopes to shine new light on why the most charismatic member of the royal family has been so upset. Of course, Meghan made clear that the attacks from the tabloids and press were simply too much, but this book teases that it'll go even deeper and pull no punches. Smith's Meghan, misunderstood, set for release in November 2020, promises to dive into the behind-the-scenes drama that drove Prince Harry and Meghan out of the royal family and into Tyler Perry's $18 million mansion in California. According to Daily Mail, the book describes Meghan as the most talked about, unfairly vilified, and misrepresented woman in the world. Yet, while the media continues to blame Meghan for the pair's exit, Prince Harry might have been the true mastermind behind their decision to leave his native England for America. Prince Harry was deeply unhappy with his royal role before marrying Meghan. Although Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's decision to step back from royal duties has been dubbed Megxit. Insiders claim this nickname makes Prince Harry angry because it gives the impression that the decision to walk away from the royal family was Meghan's. According to The Sun, as royal watchers await the release of another book called Finding Freedom, Harry and Meghan and the Making of a Modern Royal Family, a source for The Sun claims the book, out in August 2020, will absolve Markle for good. In fact, leaving the royal family wasn't even her idea. The insider said, the seeds of Mexit were sown before they even got married. The truth is that Harry had been deeply unhappy for a long time. He and Meghan openly discussed going in a different direction well before they got married. While Meghan was deemed manipulative after the announcement, it's Prince Harry who wanted to protect his growing family from the same fate as his mother, Princess Diana. Prince Harry noted, Sometimes the right decision isn't always the easy one. And this decision certainly wasn't the easy one, but it was the right decision for our family, the right decision to be able to protect my son. And I think there's a hell of a lot of people around the world that can identify and respect us for putting our family first. I don't want to be bullied <laughs> into, into, into playing a game that's become my mum. Now that's true love at its finest.
Meghan Markle had an extraordinarily accomplished life before becoming a royal. The couple's choice to lead their royal duties and the accompanying seemingly unfair scrutiny behind may have primarily been Prince Harry's idea. However, there are plenty of reasons Meghan Markle may have wanted to return, or at least had not been opposed to returning, to the kind of life that she used to have before getting married and becoming the Duchess of Sussex. According to a press release from Harper's Collins, Meghan had an extraordinarily accomplished life when she met Harry. Indeed, along with being an actress who starred on the show Suits, she was also active in many charitable initiatives prior to marrying the prince and had established a supportive social circle. That's why the biography by Sean Smith aims to tell a remarkable and powerful story of this self-made, intelligent American woman with a strong social conscience and delve into how she and Harry ended up involved in a story that the screenwriters of Hollywood, where Meghan had made her name, could scarcely have imagined. It's also a story that Meghan and Harry are still creating together, while aiming for their happily ever after. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Don't stop.